Hi, it's Steph, and I'm at the Home Depot, and it looks like they have a whole new shipment. Let's go check it out. The first thing I notice is these really large green giant arborvitaes. These have to be about five to six feet and they're $59.98, which is a great price for this size tree. These are great for hedging and in my experience, the deer don't really eat the green giant arborvitaes like they do some of the other varieties. They are in their red pots that are traditionally known as their holiday evergreens, the ones that they get kind of um, after the fall stuff comes in. So September is a little bit early for me to start seeing these, but it's great that they've gotten evergreens because fall is a great planting time. So these need 12 foot spacing, I would say from side to side, but they do get really large and are perfect fencing, live fencing options. Some gold mop cypress, which if you've been watching my channel, you know I love these. I actually just limbed one up like a small tree. Um, I can link that video. So this is a full sun evergreen shrub, false cypress golden mop. They need 36 to 48 inch spacing and hardy to negative 30 degrees. And these are $14.98. They have some boxwood. So this variety is, actually look, here's the thing. This. Japanese holly compacta looks exactly like boxwood. So at a glance, I thought these were boxwood. So this is Japanese holly compacta. It's a full sun shrub and it needs six foot spacing, hardy to negative 10 degrees, $16.98. Some Leland cypress. These are also really large trees. Um, you can use them as a specimen tree as a standalone and also as a live fencing option. It says it needs a 10 foot spacing, but these get really, really large, um, probably in the 30 to 60 foot tall and um, probably 30 to 40 wide if I had to make a good guess on that. So they're hardy to um, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. They're a full sun tree and these are $29.98. So I know that in the camera it's looking a bit green, but these really have like a blue cast to them. They're a really pretty evergreen. Juniper Blue Point. I'm actually tempted to get a couple of these. They are deer resistant. They get 10 to 12 feet tall, drought tolerant. They are full sun. They need 48 inch spacing and hardy to negative 30 degrees. I like the way that the um, shrub grows. It almost has like all of these points. Looks really cool. Some emerald green arborvitae smaragad. Smaragad, I can never pronounce that, so I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but it's a another type of emerald green arborvitae. These here get 24 to 36 inches or need 24 to 36 inch spacing, hardy to negative 20 degrees. And these are also $29.98, and these are number three size container. I also have some smaller th number three size containers of the Emerald Green Arborvitae for $29.98. And these look to be about three feet tall or so. There's the top of them. Dwarf Alberta, sp Alberta Spruce. These are a full sun shrub, also deer resistant and low maintenance. These are a great option if you have some containers either on your porch or a patio or by the side of the garage. This is a good container option for the winter season here in the Northeast. I'm in a zone six and um, this will make it through the winter. It is hardy to negative 30 degrees. It needs about 36 inch spacing and a really good option for a uh, winter interest in your containers um, in form of an evergreen. And these are also, um, these are a little bit more. So these are a number three for $39.98. And they have some itty bitty ones, some dwarf Alberta spruce in smaller containers. These here are, um, it looks like a number, like a one gallon for $16.98. These are really cute. Again, really 
good option for some containers. Japanese Holly Hellery, and these are a full sun shrub, deer resistant, evergreen. They need 24, to, they grow 24 to 36 inch height, and they need 36 to 48 inch spacing. Hardy to negative 10 degrees. And again, these, the foliage look like boxwood. And the price on these are, let's see here, $26.98. Some more smaller emerald green arborvitaes. And these are another good container option, $14.98. These are about a one gallon size. Some boxwood Calgary. These are nice and soft, these boxwood. They almost have like um, a bit of a yellow edging. And they are deer resistant, evergreen. They need 18 to 24 inch spacing and hardy to negative 30 degrees. And these are 16.98. They have some Norway spruce. This is a tree, full sun, has attractive foliage, easy to grow, gets 70 to 90 feet tall. So this one's a big one. And it needs 25 to 30 foot spacing, hardy to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And these are really pretty. They look like a Christmas tree. And let's see how much these are. $29.98. So if you have the space for a large tree, that's a really good deal for this pretty tree. Some juniper sea green. So this is like a shrub, full sun, deer resistant, drought tolerant, which we had such a dry summer that that is more important than ever to us now. Um, it needs three to five foot height clearance there and it um, has a four to six inch spacing requirement hardy to negative 30 degrees. And these are number three for $26.98. They're really pretty arching branches. And some more evergreen beauties. Look at this beautiful Japanese holly. This one is called Chesapeake and it's an evergreen shrub but it has a tree form so it looks like it's going to grow taller than it is wide it blooms late spring and it is um it says size six to seven feet tall four to five feet wide space them at four to five feet and it has a pyramidal habit hardy to negative 20 degrees let's see how much these are $49.98 and then right beside it they have these really pretty false holly goshiki and these are deer resistant drought tolerant look how beautiful this color is I know I think I'm on I'm making a shadow here but let's get a different sh position here variegated holly I can't get it to focus there we go so beautiful so these here are Osmanthus, False Holly Goshiki, and it needs three to five foot spacing, hardy to zero degrees, deer resistant, drought tolerant. Really pretty. And these are $16.98. And they're about a one gallon size. And look at these beautiful um, Japanese holly. This one's called Golden Hellery. Gets 30 to 36 inches in height. It's an evergreen, provides some winter interest. I love golden colored shrubs. Let's see, it says it blooms late spring, 26 to 48 inch spacing and negative 20 degree Fahrenheit for hardiness. And these are, let's see how much. $34.98. Boxwood Green Mound. This one is part sun shrub. Deer resistant, provides winter interest. 30 to 36 inches in height. And they need 30 to 36 inch spacing as well. 
hardy to negative 20 degrees. And these are $26.98. Some boxwood variegata. So this is a variegated boxwood. Has a yellow and green coloring. Really pretty. These here, they get 10 to 20 feet tall and 10 to 20 feet wide. Oh, they get, these get really big. And they need um, a 10 foot spacing. The habit varies. Suppose you can, you know, you can prune them into whatever shape you want. And yeah, really cool shrub. These are $24.98. Some more boxwood. This is such a great time for you to go out to the garden centers and look for evergreens. Fall is amazing time to plant. It gives your plants time to establish before the winter. It's nice and cool, so it's comfortable to work outside. It's just perfect. So these here are a Holly Blue Princess, and it is deer resistant. It's an evergreen, and you need a male and a female within you know, a, a good proximity in order to get the berries. I believe it's about 100 feet and these here get five to 10 feet tall. It is a part sun. It needs five to eight feet spacing, hardy to negative 20 degrees. Let's see how much these are. So you would need a princess and a prince in order to get berries. So this one here is a number three for $29.98. And there's some more holly. Let's see what this one is. This is a steed holly. So this one's also more of a pyramidal shape. This one is a full sun holly, variety steed. It is deer resistant, provides winter interest, six to eight feet tall, blooms early to late spring, and it needs three to six foot spacing. Hardy to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And this one here is a 34. 98 and right beside it is another really cool holly and this one is a sky pencil holly or Japanese holly it's the ones that get really tall and have a very slender shape they look really nice in like a contemporary or Zen type landscape let's see so this shrub here is a full sun, the Japanese holly sky pencil. It is deer resistant, winter interest, gets six to 10 feet tall, and needs 36 to 48 inch spacing, hardy to negative 10 degrees. And this one is 34.98. Some more awesome evergreens. I, I'm like so excited right now. I absolutely love evergreens and I just want to buy almost, almost all of the ones I'm looking at. This, this could be bad. So here we have a full sun Hinoki Cypress Crispy or Cripsy. And this one is, um, I, Hinoki's are one of my favorite. Look at the shape on this cool golden evergreen. Um, this one is low maintenance, gets 10 to 15 feet tall. It needs five to 10 foot spacing, hardy to negative 30 degrees, water at least once a week until established. And look at, just look at this, gorgeous. Let's see how much it is. This one here is $34.98, really good price because these are beautiful and in you know a specialty nursery it would probably be easily double that and just look how gorgeous the gold looks with this blue of the Colorado blue spruce if you watch my channel you know that I have a humongous Colorado blue spruce that was supposed to be a dwarf that isn't so these trees need a lot of space but they are absolutely gorgeous so this here is Colorado blue spruce it needs sun, minimum of six hours a day. It is deer resistant. I can vouch for that because the deer do not touch mine and I have lots of deer. So let's look at the specs on this one here. It is hardy to negative 40 degrees. So very hardy, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, provide enough water in fall before the winter freeze. The mature size says 20 to 30 feet tall and six to 10 feet wide and it has a pyramidal habit. This is an absolutely beautiful tree. And these here are babies. 
And let's see the price on them. $59.98 for the blue spruce. They have some U and this, um, also known as Taxus. This is a part sun shrub. It looks like it needs three to six feet for height and 48 inch spacing. Hardy to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's also very soft to the touch. Um, from what I understand, other garden friends that I have, it looks like deer might like these. So something to take note of, but really nice soft touch to these evergreens. And then right beside it is something that I am interested in buying today. These are Arborvitae Danica. They're a full sun Arborvitae, but what I like about these is that they maintain this round ball shape and they are evergreen and they're drought tolerant. The spot that I'm thinking to put them in um, is pretty dry, so that's a good feature. It looks like they need 18 to 24 inch spacing and they're hardy to negative 40 degrees. The only thing that makes me a little bit wary of these is there is nothing about deer resistance and I have a lot of deer, but maybe we'll give it a try, we'll see. But these here are $26.98. I love the idea of round, or sphere shaped boxwood, but I don't love the idea of having to trim them all the time. So I'm very attracted to these types of shrubs that maintain this round shape. I love the structure they offer in the garden and the less maintenance, of course. They have some white pine. This is full sun. Another beautiful big evergreen. Needs 60 to 70 foot height and 20 to 25 foot spacing, hardy to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And this one is 26.98. Pines have such beautiful shape. They do still have all of their beautiful fall annuals. Lots of mums and fall decor because it is fall after all. But I'm loving that they're starting to get so many beautiful evergreens for fall planting. How cool is this plant? I've never seen this before. It's called Turtlehead. Let's get that to focus here. It's called Turtlehead Hot Lips, Shalone Lyoni, and it's an upright perennial, attracts butterflies, outstanding color. It blooms late summer to fall. So if you're looking for that late garden color, this would be a good option. It gets 24 to 36 inches in height and it needs 18 to 24 inch spacing. Hardy to negative 40 degrees, so really hardy. So this is a great option for late summer, early fall color for your part sun location. Let's see how much these are. So these are, 1998 they're in those three number three size larger containers and if you look around they're starting to clearance some of their perennials this is that number three size container of cheyenne spirit coneflower for 9.98 50 percent off they also have some lilies and these don't have flowers now but if you plant them they're perennial they'll come back and then some of still be some more echinacea. So this is the time of year to start looking for deals in fall. Plant these perennials and they'll be beautiful next season. Talking about sales, their roses are also 50% off right now. So check your Home Depots if you're looking for some roses. Again, fall, look for those deals. These are the knockouts and they have quite a few and these are still putting on new growth this time of year. Mine are still budding up and blooming and they will until a hard frost sometime in October. And check this out, some Arborvitae Danica. These are the same that we just saw in the red holiday containers, also a size number three, but the holiday containers are $26.98 and these regular black containers are $29.98. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the holiday ones for $3 off each one. So you gotta check these out because you never know, there might be a price difference. In this case, there was. So there is certainly no shortage of evergreens here at my Home Depot in Zone 6. And these are especially important in a garden if you live in an area with winter and you want something to look at in the garden that offers some structure over those months where your flowers aren't blooming. 
This is another great one. This is a Mugo Pine, deer resistant, easy to grow. You need 36 to 48 inches for height and 48 inch spacing, hardy to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And these containers here are $14.98 and the Blue Star Juniper. This is my absolute favorite low growing and slow growing blue colored evergreen in my garden. They, I've had one for nine years. It only gets to be about three by four in um, diameter and only about 12 to 18, 18 inches tall. So really good option for a front of the border evergreen for this beautiful blue color. And these here are, let's see, they're a number three for $29.98. Their proven winners, Puckster type butterfly bushes are on sale for 50% off. These are a great dwarf sized butterfly bush. I'm chasing a butterfly here. Oh, it keeps hopping from butterfly bush to butterfly bush. But these smell really nice like lilac. And let's see, these here are uh, number two maybe. Well, they're $29.98. Yep, they're a two gallon. And so these would be about $15 and they're still in relatively good shape. They just need to be deadheaded and you still get a little bit, a little bit more bloom time. They will bloom until a hard frost. And these are a little bit later summer, so mid to late summer, but they do bloom all of fall. This one here is the lavender. Grasses, lots and lots of grasses. These are amazing to offer some movement and texture in your garden. I absolutely love them and perennial grasses this time of year are such a beautiful accent for your fall garden. This one here is called Japanese Silvergrass Adagio. Looks like it gets all of these plumes. It is deer resistant. It's a clumping type grass. This one here is a number three for $24.98. It's full sun. Let's see. It, bro it blooms early to late summer. Blooming on grasses means that it sends out those plumes and the height is 36 to 40 inches and it needs 30 to 36 inch spacing but i would say that that's on the small end these get really really large but the good thing about that is that you can divide them and you can buy one and in a few years you can divide them and have a bunch all over your garden here are some more really beautiful grasses this one is hamlin this is a dwarf grass this one is full sun Dwarf Fountain Grass Hamlin. Look at that beautiful mound with all of those plumes. It is deer resistant, it has attractive foliage, also clumping. Blooms early summer to fall, gets 24 inches in height, needs 24 inch spacing, and hardy to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And another cool grass. This one is number three for $24.98. And this is called Blue Switch Grass, North Wind. Perennial grass, wants full sun. It's also clumping, deer resistant. Blooms late summer to fall. Gets five to six feet tall. And it needs 24 to 36 inch spacing. Hardy to negative 30 degrees. Here's a good option for a low growing grass. This is a Sedge Evercolor Everest. It's a Carex. It's low growing, has attractive foliage. This one is variegated. Let's see, it's part sun. And it gets 12 inches tall, needs 12 inch spacing, hardy to negative 20 degrees. And these are 12.98. And look at another option for a really cool low growing grass. This is blue fescue and this color is absolutely gorgeous. So this one here is called blue fescue beyond blue. It's a full sun perennial grass. Let's see here. It's mounded, great for rock gardens, attractive foliage, and it blooms early to late spring. It is nine to 12 inches in height, needs 18 inch spacing and hardy to negative 30 degrees. And these here are 12.98.
perennial sale inside the garden center as well. All the perennials that were $8.98 are two for 10. Now this is at my store and sales may vary by location, but check out your store. Since it is fall, it could be that they're trying to get rid of their last minute perennials, but lots of good options. Coreopsis, coneflower, look how beautiful these are. These are the coneflower powwow white. Midsummer to fall, they bloom and they're 20 to 24 inches in height and they get 16 to 18 inches wide. They're hardy to negative 40 degrees. I think I'm gonna do a voiceover on this part of the video because if you've watched my Home Depots, they're really loud with the music in here. Sounds like I'm watching The Wedding Singer right now with Adam Sandler. Sandler. Did you guys watch that movie? It's a good one, really funny. These big containers of perennials, these large ones that they were selling for $14.98 are also marked down to $11.88. This is a really pretty sedum. So this one here is, let's see, it's Stonecrop Autumn Joy Sedum. Great option for your late summer, early fall garden. Look at the foliage on these. And these are like a succulent, so they don't require a lot of water. So if you have a drought situation or low water, this would be a great option. Pollinators absolutely love these, and they have a beautiful, beautiful color as you transition into fall. So the size on these are, they get 16, to 24 inches in height and 15 to 18 inches wide. Here's another grass. This one is also marked down. It was $16.98, now it's $11.88. And this one is called Maiden Grass Morning Light. And let's see how big. This one is a perennial, it's full sun. And it blooms early to late fall, gets four to five feet tall and needs 48 inch spacing, hardy to negative 20. This one is a little sharp. I ran my fingers through it and it can give you a paper cut if you're not care careful, but it has a really fine texture. Look at the way it moves in the breeze. Beautiful. The Gara is still going and that actually looks really pretty with that stone crop or that autumn joy sedum. Look at that combination. So pretty. Let's see what these are here. It doesn't say, oh yeah, it has a variety tag in here. This one is called Beliza White. And it is a summer through fall bloomer. And it's hardy to negative 40 degrees. Also, pollinators love these. This container is $14.98. Bluebeard or Caryopteris. This one is called Pavilion and it is a full sun perennial. It gets 14 to 18 inches in height and 14 to 18 inches in width. Water when dry, hardy to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Full sun and they have three colors here. They have a beautiful white. They also have this really light pink. And I even saw a blue one somewhere, like a, that blue purple color really pretty and the pollinators also love these look there's a bunch of bees on them back here and these are another great option for your late summer early fall garden look at this cool blue color on this caryopteris beautiful And I discovered this lamb's ear this year and I'm completely in love with it. Look how large this foliage is. Soft, fuzzy, beautiful blue-gray color for the garden. And this lamb's ear doesn't bloom, so it won't become invasive like some of the other varieties with the smaller leaves and the tall bloom stalks. This one here is called Helen Von Stein. And it is a full sun perennial. It creates like a pretty little mound and it gets 24 to 36 inches in height and 24 to 30 wide, water when dry, hardy to negative 30 degrees. Some more beautiful bee balm and anisette, not anisette, it smells like anisette, anise hyssop. And these, so agastache, this is a full sun perennial. It gets to be 10 to 14 inches in height and needs 12 to 14 inch spacing hardy to negative 20 degrees. I did have one of these planted one year, but the thing is they don't like wet feet. So you wanna plant them somewhere that's dry because if it stays wet, they will rot and not return. So that's probably what happened to mine, but really pretty color on these. 
And look at this bee balm. The combination of these two is really pretty together. It's pink bee balm. Let's check this one out. And again, these are two for 10 at my store. So this one is called Bee Mine. It's a full sun perennial and it gets 15 to 18 inches in height and 18 to 20 inches wide, water when dry, hardy to negative 30. And it blooms late spring through summer. So these are still blooming because they came from a greenhouse somewhere, but otherwise these would have been done by now. And look at this, they've marked down some of their um, Boston fern hangers. If you wanted to buy one of these now and you had a space to overwinter them, either in a basement or where you keep your house plants, you could literally treat these like a house plant, water them well about once a week, and you would have them ready to go for next season. Another variety of stone crop or sedum. This one's called Autumn Fire and it gets 24 to 30 inches high, 18 to 24 wide, water when dry. It's a really good drought tolerant plant. Hardy to negative 40 degrees and blooms midsummer through fall. In their potting soil area, this is inside where they have their house plants. I actually need to pick some up of this um, for my house plants that I brought outside over the summer. And it's marked down. So this Nature's Care Miracle Grow Organic Potting Mix was $10.97 and now it's $5.53. So that's a really good buy. This end of the season is a perfect time to start looking at your Home Depot for marked down items. How pretty this tick seed or Coreopsis is. This is a good option if you want to get a perennial for your fall planted containers and then you can use it out in the landscape. This one here is called Coreopsis Superstar. It is a 14 to 16 inch height, 16 to 18 wide, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit for hardiness. foliage on this um, this one is another one of those blue beard this one's Caryopteris and canna and this one it says that it needs 14 to 18 inch height 14 18 wide negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit and blooms early summer to fall but it has a golden foliage this one looks like it's all bloomed out already but it appeared to have a blue bloom so here's today's haul at the Home Depot. I ended up buying six of these Arborvitae Danica and some soil and some stakes for some trees. I hope that you've enjoyed checking out today's inventory and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.